Today I'm going to talk about the diagnostic history in EL6910 based TwinSafe logic terminals. Uh, diagnostic history isn't unique to TwinSafe. A lot of advanced terminals have it, but we can use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, the most common way to use diagnostic history is actually with the event logger and using TwinCat HMI. But you can also take that diagnostic history on an individual terminal basis and bring it right into PLC variables so we can have plain text available to do whatever we want with, whether that's make a uh, PLC based HMI or feed that information really anywhere that we want. So let me show you how to do that. First, we're going to start with a working twin safe project. You can see this is a very advanced project with an ore block and it's being fed by the output of a 2904. It's very simple. So when I go into my 6910, here's my diagnostic history. And you can see that I've been downloading. So we're seeing that groups we're entering in the error, error state as I've been loading and things like that. This diagnostic history is actually stored in COE parameters. So if we go here to diagnosis history, diagnosis messages one through six, that's what we were just looking at, but you can see it's not readable in the state. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. The goal is gonna to be to get to this. This is a PLC visualization. We're gonna fill in diagnostic history here, some basic info, hardware info. So let's connect that. What we have is a sample project using this FB safe diag diagnostic block. First, we're gonna get the net ID of our device one ethercat network. Next, we'll get the module GUID. The GUID we get from the uh, target system in the boot folder. So we'll go to remote desktop. Under uh, the name of the computer, C twincat 3.1 boot. Under current event messages, we'll find the GUID for the EL6910 right here. Don't forget the little single quote mark. And next we need the slave address of our EL6910. Get that under the ethercat tab. And now we'll activate the configuration. When safe is in run, and now we're gonna cause a watchdog error by pulling the EL2904. Now, if we look at the visualization, we start to see real data. It now says EL6910 rather than the EL2911. Uh, like I said earlier, we're getting real information back in the basic info like uh, revision numbers, serial numbers, things of that nature. We're seeing the temperatures that are so important to monitor and then the state of the actual device itself that currently we're in run. But most importantly, we're seeing the diag history error list. So we see that the FSOE watchdog of the one connection has been expired. That's the EL2904. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and rectify that. We'll plug it back in and acknowledge the error. And let's go back into our visualization. And we'll see that group one has no more errors. Now I said that these were in the PLC program. Right here, if I go into this safe diag and I go into the array of the diag history that's been created with this function block, I can see the event text right here in this register. So I can take this text, I can take the event IDs, and I can use that any way that I want within my PLC program or send it somewhere else. If you enjoyed this and would like to learn more, check out the description where I'll have a link to this sample project as well as documentation on how this function block works. Thanks for watching.